Hi guys, and thank you for being interested in this tutorial. Today, we're gonna to talk about creating a responsive, flexible tooltip, meaning that it's responsive to the text which is in it. Let's say here that we call a longer, we'll say longer, uh, yeah, longer tooltip text. So you see it's behaving nicely and it, this is responsive to the text in it. And also I can do it another line or two. And as you see, it's completely responsive and the pointer is going up and down and staying in the middle and so on. So it's pretty cool. Now, uh, I would say that we have two cases, one very easy, which takes, I don't know, around two, three minutes to create, maybe even less. And uh, another one is when we want to have these, uh, this stroke around it. So let me show you the two examples. By the way, tooltips, you see them anywhere. If you see here, this one, we have a tooltip pointing down. And if you see that I put my mouse here, we have a tooltip pointing up. And you basically see them everywhere. They're all over the place, softwares, platforms, websites, and so on. So you can see them. Uh, as I said, all over the place, of course, that it is for uh, when uh, working with a mouse. Of course, in mobiles, we don't have tooltips because there's no hover and you're not working with a mouse. So let's see how to create this amazing tooltip and, and easy. So let's uh, write here tooltip. I'm going to show you the first one, which is very easy, actually. Uh, Shift A. To create it in auto layout by the way if you are not familiar with auto layout and you are not familiar with uh, absolute position please i do suggest that you would see my other tutorials about uh, absolute position and auto layout in order to get a better idea of what am i doing here maybe if you're not familiar with it at all it would be a bit strange or not completely understandable anyway of course you are uh, uh most welcome to stay and see and very happy that you are here okay shift a or just add auto layout i can click on this uh, i can do padding less by the way it gives a 10 pixel padding all around it that is a default which you can actually change uh, with the nudge amount so you can uh, go ahead and do that there i think it's in the preferences which is here and let me see let me see nudge amount yes here you see big nudge if you change that here it's going to give you a less padding but it doesn't matter you can change it like in two seconds here so it doesn't really matter that much okay let's not be dramatic <laughs> something like that okay let me just take the uh, color from here okay good so we have this tooltip um and uh, we give it let's say a round corner like that and let me just make a quick pointer do like that good so we got that uh done um and let's take the color from here good so this is an auto layout okay let's call it a tool tip tool tip simple Okay, so this is a tooltip. I'm going to just throw this one here. So what, a, what an absolute position does, actually, when I click on this one, as you see, absolute position, and you see a tooltip on absolute position, <laughs> as we speak. So I'm going to click on it. What it does is actually disconnects this guy from the alignment in the auto layout, the alignment and the way that it places elements inside it. Meaning if I hit this element, and control or command D and just duplicate another one. So it's going to just place another one and the spacing between elements, which is then is going to take place here. Even, I mean, either if it's horizontal or vertical, it's going to behave the same, okay? When I do this one in absolute position, actually, I'm going to delete this one. And when it's in absolute position, you see now that the regular alignment work on it and the constraints work on it as well so i can just place it here on the bottom of this auto layout it still okay it went yeah it went outside so i'm gonna do it again absolute position yeah it kind of like uh yeah okay so now it's good i see that by the way with this icon you can see that it's uh in absolute position i'm going to align it to the middle it is already aligned to the middle constrain it to the center and the bottom okay 
and uh, now basically that's pretty much it i mean you have a tooltip you can also make its round corners if you want you can select this one and give it something like that or like that it doesn't matter and basically that's it i mean if i just do here longer text or break a line and so on so you see that this one is already completely responsive that's it pretty much done if if you know how to do it and without my talkings it really takes like two minutes to create it basically that's pretty much it so let's give it again a tool tip <laughs> I completely messed it up tool tip yeah okay so that is done we have the first one good now what happens if i want to have a stroke now this is where things get a bit messy but just a bit really just a bit uh and uh, let's see exactly how it goes on now so basically if i give this auto layout a stroke let's give it a kind of like a red stroke we can see it okay you have you see that it has a stroke but of course that the stroke goes around the auto layout itself and this guy actually doesn't belong to this uh, background of the auto layout so we can give it a stroke even if it was a uh, a rectangle which doesn't make sense to make it with a rectangle but let's say that if i would i would have to give it an absolute position anyway that's what we're going to do next but if i give this one another one uh, like another stroke and go ahead and do like that so you see how weird it looks <laughs> it looks really weird anyway yeah so we're gonna just undo that and we have this tool tip and let's see now how we can create this one with a stroke around it Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a component, actually, of the background of it. I'm going to do something like that. Let me just steal this guy. You know what? Let's make another one. Doesn't matter. You can make it bigger or small. Yeah, something like that. By the way, uh, if you guys wonder why I do not take the rectangle from here, I can. It doesn't really matter. I can take this polygon and just kind of like do like that and do like that and if you want to have it by the way if you don't need the ability to kind of like you know make it like that which now yeah it looks pretty weird <laughs> something like that you can just flatten right click and flatten and then you lose this kind of like uh, padding that it has around it anyway i just created myself in the same amount of time i guess pretty much so yeah it's okay yeah doesn't matter <laughs> okay so um i'm gonna select them both and i'm going to union these two together so now it's kind of like behaving as one shape but i'm not gonna flatten it i'm gonna leave them separate you will understand in a minute why okay uh now actually let's give it this color and I'm going to give it now, by the way, when it's a union and I'm giving it the round corners, you will see that it rounds also the these corners, which is pretty nice uh, if that's what you want. So, yeah, so that's good. Uh, and now, actually, look at that. We are going to make that a component and call it the tool tip. BG is a short for background okay and what i'm doing what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to make uh, the border of the component actually shorter than the union itself now still now when it's in it's a uh, in a component sorry so it's in a frame and the constraints actually still work on these elements which are inside here which this is exactly what i want so i'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask, actually press command or control uh, in PC and I'm gonna click on it and give the constraint center and bottom okay uh, and now actually you see that when we will change the size of it you see how it behaves this is exactly the behavior that I need as the background for our tooltip more than that I can give it a stroke um plus and i'm gonna give let's give it a red stroke oh sorry <laughs> i did bad a mistake i didn't mean to give stroke the uh, component itself i mean i meant for the union yeah so i'm going i'm giving the union 
the stroke it's gonna be something like that yeah let's give it a red one doesn't matter okay so we have a red stroke around it you know what we can even actually make it um yeah i'm gonna make it like that and give the stroke actually let me make the stroke uh again not this one <laughs> i'm gonna i mean this one the stroke i'm gonna do like that yeah so it gives us kind of like a clear uh, more of a clear way of how it looks okay good so that is the background that we made a component okay that is only the background of the tooltip and now i'm gonna write here tooltip of course we will change the text and see that it's working and so on uh, let's make it a bit smaller something like that I guess uh, yeah and uh, right click or shift a and we have it in an auto layout let's give it uh, something like that as e as the background of it and do something like that let's call this one uh, tooltip okay and now actually I'm gonna take an instance of this uh, component that we made here and I want to Take this instance and throw it in this auto layout yeah just dragged it in the frame of the auto layout by the way sometimes if you see that when I'm when I'm trying to drag it into the auto layout it doesn't always kind of like easily gets it so it doesn't matter you can just take it and drag it into the auto layout that's it simple as that okay uh, so now we have this auto layout and as you see which looks pretty weird. <laughs> this is not the result that we are expecting, but of course we are going to work with absolute position. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna click on the absolute position. And as I do that, actually it becomes above the text, which is looking pretty weird in a way, because if you see here in the layers panel, it looks like it's below the text, but when it's in absolute position, it's exactly the opposite from what you see. So that is something to understand. I can drag it up and now it's going to be, again, in the layers panel above the text, but actually on the screen, it's going to be below the text, okay? So I didn't create it like that. This is not my fault. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do it like that and like that and good. Now, what I'm gonna do now actually is I'm going to adjust the size of uh, the tooltip background to the size of the auto layout, as you see, like that, okay? Uh, manually adjusted. And as I said, when something is in absolute position, you can give it constraints and this is exactly where we're heading and this is what we want. So we give it a left and right constraint to the left and the right of that frame, which is actually not a component yet, but it will be, it doesn't matter to the behavior of it and top and bottom. And now let's check how it's behaving longer text. Okay, good. So we're having a great uh, behavior on it, same as the simple one, but now we have it actually also with a stroke, okay? So let's just leave the longer text and let's create it, make it a component, even we can, we can, we can create, we can easily, <laughs> sorry, create more variants to it. So component and uh, I'm giving, I'm adding another variant. Let's call this one just down because it's pointing down. I'm reminding you like this one, okay? It's pointing down. Now, actually, I'm gonna call this one up and we can make it pointing up easily just selecting uh, the tooltip background and I can just flip vertically, shift V and that's it. This is all it takes, okay? So that's pretty easy. Uh, and now let's even this one bigger. I can select another one and just uh, say left or right left. And as you can imagine, of course, it's going to point left. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to rotate it with holding my shift like that. Okay. Uh, holding the alt or option in Mac, I can go ahead and do like that and do like that and boom that's it so we have a tooltip pointing 
left and now if you want to have another one pointing right we can just uh, do another variant select it and flip horizontally and that's it boom we have it done build and we can just uh, try out one of them and let's give it a uh, some other text okay not text but text <laughs> Yes, that was the meaning of it. Okay, cool. So I guess that uh, let's we can even change it here down. You see it's pointing down and you can easily changing uh, up and so on. So that is pretty cool. And I guess that for this tutorial, that is about it. Hope uh, that the tutorial was good and helpful. I would be very happy for your like if you did like this tutorial and extremely happy if you subscribe to my channel and help supporting, keep supporting this channel from, uh, of course, creating uh, good, uh, cool tutorials that are coming up ahead all the time. Thanks a lot. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.